Hey man here, and this time we're doing the blue bellied black snake. Here he goes, we flip it around, and we have here a cage. I've taken it out of the heat thing here, taken the lid off, done a little poo poo, perfect snake poo, bit of yellow, bit of brown, just the right colour, just the right consistency for a venomous snake. You can see from the consistency there, the poo's probably, oh, probably done earlier today, maybe 10 hours ago. A bit watery when they come out and you see it's pretty much dry now and uh, the brown and the yellow, the yellow is the uric acid stuff and the uh, uh, brown is like flesh and you know, digested muscle and bone and most of what you actually look at it there is actually here. Anyway, uh, the bluebird black snake needs a water bowl top up which we'll skip and we'll put it out there. Absolutely lovely snake, how can you not like that? This is the house they live in by the way, it's like an upturned pot, you know, bucket, whatever, cut it, U shape and these guys beautiful snake this one here bred by a bloke called les williams as you can see we free handle them we don't worry about them chopping us basically one they don't want to and two if they do it doesn't matter but we are the only people in the country with surgically devenomized snakes which means that the snakes never have to be tormented with sticks and tongs when they get handled very important oops when you're doing reptile shows now of course one thing that does make them bite is food now blue bellied black snake, spotted black snake, just check the belly out of for a moment you can see it's not actually blue, it's like a silvery yellowy sort of colour anyway, what I'll do, I'll uh, grab uh, what we call food here's a mouse, we haven't taken the legs off this, or a rat sorry we in a rat, we haven't taken the legs off this one we just simply wave it in front of the snake and say here you go snake and normally they are piglets and they normally eat very, very, oops got it, yep, very <laughs> now she's gone mad, feeding frenzy <laughs> They're so funny, aren't they? Look, she suddenly got mad. Food, food, silly, silly. Oh, look there. Oh, sorry. Got the camera. Hey, hey, come on. Look, check this out. They chase you out of the cage. You see, food. Hang on to it. Hang on, hang on. Get back in the cage. Now, you think that's funny? I'll show you something even funny. Okay, feeding. Oh, feeding friends now. This is a girl snake, okay? Girl. Remember that, girl. So, what we do is we, we bang her tail and then she goes, oh, funny in the tail. Watch. I'll try and do it for the video just to show you what I mean. The tail goes, starts thrashing. Look. Bang, 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 bang. Not getting much sense out of that. It's hard to do it in the video. But anyway, they are funny snakes. They are really nice. They've got a little bit of a feral streak in it. They're just like funny. I don't mean feral in a bad way. I mean in a good way. But they are very, very strange. They've got that moon head. See, a smallish moon sort of head. The king brown snake sort of uh, head. Uh, and this snake here is a. Oh, she's about a metre long. And, absolutely magnificent she's about four year old so she's out of prime equal to 20 year old human anyway we're the only people in victoria that use these snakes in our uh, reptile shows we're the only people legally allowed to because we're the only ones that comply with section 32 of the oh and s act flipping back you can see oops you can see the snake um uh, is in good condition but of course under oh and s laws here in victoria and most parts of australia if the risk can be removed instead of minimised, you must, by law, remove the risk. In the case of venomous snakes, since 2004, we've been able to surgically devenomise the snakes, basically painlessly for the snakes, and also painlessly for us. So it means that we subject no pain. The operation is basically painless for the snakes. And forget the rubbish you hear about these snakes dropping dead, you know, because they can't digest the food or anything. This poor snake uh, uh, is obviously in immaculate condition. She's not in any imminent risk of death because she has no venom. Snake venom is only one of the kinds of saliva that snakes produce. They do have other saliva. And the venom's sole purpose in real terms is just to kill the food. Now, how's she going there? Yeah, she's got the head. She might take a while on that. She's got a smallish head, biggest uh, rat to eat, but she'll get it down. Anyway, if I was to run this video continuous uh, while she ate, it could take anything up to an hour. Uh, she is obviously on a go slow. My guess, it'd probably take 15, 20 minutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to say goodbye. And just remember, snake busters are Australia's best reptiles.